G'day and welcome to this VATPAC ATC training tutorial on how to connect an ATIS using Euroscope. For this video, we're at Brisbane Airport connected to the network as Brisbane Tower. When looking to connect an ATIS, the first thing you want to do is ensure your ATIS frequency has been set. This will let the network know what frequency to broadcast your ATIS on. To do this, click on the Voice Communication Setup box and you can open this by clicking on the headset icon to the left of your primary frequency. As we're at Brisbane, we want to scroll down to find Brisbane ATIS. On this entry, we'll need to make sure the ATIS box has been ticked. Once this is done, we can close this box. Next, to connect our ATIS, we'll open the ATIS setup box. You can do this by clicking on the letter to the right of your primary frequency. While this box may look slightly confusing, with the introduction of audio for VATSIM, we only connect a text ATIS to the network. The voice recording of our ATIS is generated automatically based on what we enter as our text ATIS. To connect our text status, we paste something we have pre-prepared into this box here. To connect, we want to make sure that we have set our ATIS airport and then simply hit connect. We know that we are connected as it now says connected to VATSIM and we will have an entry in our controller list. However, if this entry has a number starting with 6, we will need to make sure that our ATIS frequency has been set. This is a limitation of Euroscope and we need to occasionally refresh the ATIS frequency. We open the voice communication setup box again and re-tick this ATIS box. Also, we will deselect the receive voice and make sure transmit voice is also deselected as this is no longer done through the ATC client. Once that is done, you'll notice that we have no longer have a number beginning with 6, so we're all good to go. To see the text content of our ATIS as it's connected to the network, we can right click on this entry and select Get ATIS. We'll get a direct message which we can view and you can see here, the ATIS is exactly as we typed in the ATIS setup box. If you would like to monitor the voice recording of your ATIS, open up the audio for VATSIM standalone client, add a new station with the call sign as connected to the network. We will also need to enter the frequency, which for us is 125.500. Once this is done, we can select the RX box and listen for our ATIS. Sometimes we may not hear a recording and this is perfectly fine. There is occasionally issues with the voice ATIS bot, but there is nothing we can do about this. To update your ATIS, open the ATIS setup box once again. Let's say the winds have changed slightly. We'll need to increment our ATIS letter and make any changes as required. We disconnect the ATIS and then reconnect it to the network. As before, we'll need to make sure the ATIS box has been selected. Now our ATIS has been updated and we can see this 
in our messages below. Thank you and good luck with your S2 training.